Hello everyone and welcome to the class of AWS Management Console. Today in this class we are going to discuss about what are the services which are required for AWS examination. As in our previous classes we have discussed about each and every service provided by AWS Management Console. So now we can see that these are the services which are required for AWS examination. So these are services that we need to know in order to pass the examination. Now what are the services which are required? We have compute, storage, database, networking and content delivery. We have management tools, security, identity and compliance, messaging and desktop and app streaming. So today we are going to discuss about its very first service which is compute service. So let's have a look what compute is. So this is compute. Under compute we have EC2, EC2 container service, light sail, we have elastic beam stack, we have lambda and batch. So let's understand what compute is. This is basically amount of computational power required to fulfill your workload. Now workload is directly proportional to compute needs. Suppose we need we have a workload and which workload is very small. That means if we have a website and that website receives only few visitors, then compute needs are small. And if we are having a large workload, like we have to screen 10 million compounds against a target. So that means we require a great deal of compute. So amount of compute can change drastically over time. So building and running your business starts with compute. Whenever we are building any mobile apps or any we or any cluster we require compute. So we have various products which allow us to deploy run scale applications like virtual servers, containers, code etc. So AWS having a variety of compute and network services. We require to develop and run that workload as per our demands or as per our needs. It provides services of storage, database and application services. Under compute, we have Elastic Compute Cloud, Lambda, Beamstack, Virtual Private Cloud, etc. So we are going to discuss about it very first unit which is EC2. Now let's understand what EC2 is. EC2 is Elastic Compute Cloud. So here in EC2 deployment unit that means how do we deploy EC2 so we require virtual machines. So whenever we are launching virtual servers, so launching of virtual servers we call them as instances. So with EC2, we can run any application. We can control and manage server or cluster level functions like we require to scale or we require deployment. EC2 offers a variety of instances. Now what instances are launching of virtual servers are instances. With the help of this, we can control the server, operating system, and deployment software if required. We have flexible payment options to meet our business needs. Here, what is the payment scenario? If we look at, like we have to pay for computing power of the instance. We are charged per hour while the instance is running. That means we will pay only when our instance is running, otherwise not. So when you stop the instance, you are no longer charged. So this is the payment scenario of EC2. That means we require to pay whenever we are using or my instances are running. Elastic Compute Cloud as the name is Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud. That means 
it provides a scalable computing capacity in the cloud from elastic it provides a scalable scalable that can change or vary amazon ec2 eliminates the need to invest in hardware upfront that means there is no need to invest much or more money in hardware we can develop we can deploy application faster it is secure and reliable also we can handle various changes as per the requirements or as per the traffic we can launch few or many virtual server which totally depend upon the need elastic compute cloud we can rent virtual computers and on those virtual computers we can run our applications it encourages scalable deployment of applications by providing a web service so we require to configure a virtual machine with the help of amazon machine image which we called as instance now what is instance instance is basically it determines the hardware of the host computer required for your thank you so much